and welcome back to Faith and Flower. If you're new here, my name is Robin and today's video is going to give you some everyday cleaning motivation while we are staying at home. I hope that you and your families are doing well and that you are coping with our current situation. I hope that my channel will be a place where you can come to for some respite, for some motivation and inspiration, and a place to sort of escape the craziness that's going on around us. Having this time where we can really slow down and enjoy our time in our homes and with our family can be a real blessing. And so I'm trying to focus on that. And one of the things that I get a lot of pleasure out of is taking care of our house plants, especially my orchids. I watered the other plants yesterday, but today I'm taking some time to give my orchids a little TLC. Orchids are such an easy plant to care for and they pay back with major dividends. You get blooms that last for up to three months. Mine bloom about once a year around this time of year. And all I have to do is water them once a week like you see me doing. I just put a little bit of water in and let it all run out and then I set them down in the sink so that they can continue to drain. I alternate every other week giving them an orchid fertilizer and there are tons of different brands out there. Just find one that says it's formulated for orchids and you just add a little bit of that liquid fertilizer to the water and you water them the same way. And I also spritz them when I'm watering them because we have a rather dry climate here but they like a climate that's more humid. So this really helps them out if you don't have a humid climate. And I also found that they really like a sunny location for most of the year. So while they're blooming, I'll move them to different areas of our home so that we can enjoy the blooms. But when they're not, I set them on a sunny windowsill where they can absorb all of the light. And this has really been the trick to keeping orchids beautiful and keeping them blooming at least once a year. This is our south facing windowsill and where our orchids seem to really thrive. I almost lost this one last year. I think it had some sort of illness, but it seems to be recovering. I have another one that is putting out a new leaf, which I believe means it's probably not going to flower this year, but it is still very healthy. I think that once in a while they take a break, but this one keeps coming back year after year and it's getting ready to bloom. So that's always super exciting for me. So I treat them the same way. I'll take them into the kitchen, give them their water, and then return them to their favorite sunny location. Now I'm going to catch up on some ironing. And these days I don't usually have a ton of things to do. There are just certain things that I like to give that little extra added touch. And I actually find ironing to be quite enjoyable. I use this small iron steamer to do all of my ironing. Actually, when I received this and I figured out how wonderful it is, I got rid of my traditional iron. It uses steam and so it doesn't get quite as hot as a traditional iron, but it works way better. And you can use it like an iron or you can use it like a steamer to steam clothes while they're hanging. And I always get loads of questions about this whenever I show it. So it is in my Amazon store if you guys are interested. It's quite affordable and it's even small enough to travel with. 
Ironing along with folding clothes are tasks that I have learned to really enjoy throughout the years. It's a good excuse to slow down and because it's rather mindless, I can do something else. I can listen to music, I can watch something on TV, I can watch a YouTube video, and just take a few moments out of my day to accomplish something and slow down at the same time. Now that the schools are closed and Peyton's work program is closed, we are all trying to find things to occupy our kids and help them feel productive and help them not lose skills that they've obtained this year. So we are all in similar situations when it comes to that. So hopefully we can encourage each other. Peyton is an adult with special needs and his work program is called BIG, which stands for Brookwood in Georgetown. BIG is a Christian-based community that provides work for adults with special needs. They make the most amazing products that they sell, and right now Peyton is cutting out labels for the liquid soap that they make. Peyton really misses his friends at BIG right now, but is grateful for the work that is keeping him productive. So now we are both working from home. 
We just want to thank those of you who helped support us back in the fall when Team Peyton was raising money. And so with your help, we were able to raise over $7,500. So we are just thrilled with that and we cannot thank you enough. Their online store is now open for business and I want to invite you guys to check it out. I will have the link for it in my description box. They have so many gorgeous products that they have worked so hard on and take so much pride in and I know you guys will love all of it. So they have the liquid soaps like I was showing you Peyton making the labels for. They make that soap, they bottle it and label it. They also make beautiful bar soaps. They are always coming up with new creative enterprises like these beautiful resin earrings that are also available at their store. And dog treats are something that Peyton absolutely loves to make and they are taste tested by Austin and he loves them. At the beginning of March, Big had their annual art auction. The theme for this year was Welcome to Holland, which was inspired by the essay written by Emily Pearl Kingsley. It was an amazing event and raised a lot of money for families who can't afford the tuition to big. The table centerpieces were also for sale to raise money and I could not resist bringing home this beautiful Dutch style pitcher. It was filled with these gorgeous faux tulips and it will be a wonderful reminder of that special night. Peyton and I were participants in a video that was presented at the event and I will have the link for that in the description box so that you can watch the entire video. I invite you to watch. It was a wonderful presentation really highlighting what it means to have a child with special needs and what BIG has meant to us as parents and also to its citizens. video, I think that sticking to routines is a great way to cope with stress. And so I'm sticking to my weekly cleaning routine. I'll have the video in the cards above if you guys haven't seen that yet. But today is bathrooms, so I am going to be cleaning bathrooms. Normally when my schedule is a lot more busy, this helps me keep on top of our housework. But now that a lot of that busyness has gone away, I can take pleasure in doing this and slow down a little bit with this as well. And spreading out my tasks throughout the week means that I don't have to devote an entire day to cleaning. And while I can enjoy that from time to time, this just makes for a more relaxing schedule and the house tends to stay neater overall. So I am going to be doing the mirrors, the countertops, the bathtub. I did the toilet but I didn't film it today and I don't always clean the shower thoroughly each week because we like to wipe it down each day with an e-cloth microfiber cloth and that really does keep it clean for the most part. So about every eight weeks or so when I'm doing my zone cleaning, I'll go in there and give it a good scrub, but that part I can skip for today.
You might have noticed that I knocked down this little soap dish. It sticks on the side of the bathtub with a suction cup and I managed to knock it down almost every time I clean the tub, but it actually needs to be cleaned too. So it's got a lot of soap buildup in there. So I'm just going to use my microfiber cloth to clean it thoroughly, then I can reattach it. After my work for the day was done, we had had dinner and the kitchen was clean, we went on our evening walk. And the days are getting a little bit longer, so we're still enjoying some sunlight while we do that. And it was a gorgeous evening to get outside, stretch a little, get some exercise and some fresh air. Where we are, spring has arrived. So it's been really wonderful to just take in all of the beautiful greenery and blooms so if you are still experiencing winter weather where you live, I hope that this will give you a little preview into what is just around the corner. comes along for the walks as well and one of the highlights for him is this area where he can participate in a Pokemon battle. If you guys don't know what that is, ask your kids. enjoyed today's video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It's absolutely free and easy. All you have to do is click on my picture. Thank you guys for spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you in the comments and in the next video. Have a great week.